And hello and welcome back. Uh, it's me. Yeah, I know it's been a while. And right now I'm in the city Skylands. I'm gonna play him as for series and stuff. You know, like usual series, like uh, episode one, episode two, and all of that jazz. And I'll basically try to get all of the map together and. Yeah, basically that's it started. I want to grow the biggest and the best city in the world without any traffic problems. First one just like put this road and after that delete it because we don't need it. And just put a two two lane road like up and oops and then up. Oh my god, it's wrong. Oh my god, it's really wrong. Okay, th th this shall be alright. I'll just put it like that, and then put it like this. It, it's kind of weird actually, but whatever. So this will be the res uh, residential zone, where people will live, obviously. And then I wanna just... where's the nearest water? Right there. That's a really bad place for sewage. Is it all like flowing out? I don't know. Yeah, it's all flowing out, so I'll basically put the f sewage thing there. Um, now, people are starting to move in, I should probably pause it here so they don't start complaining already. And a sewage thing there, a water pump here, and just basically connect both of them. And then this goes to the city, and through the middle. So now people will have water, but they won't have any water without power, so I'll just make make a road here that will lead to the industrial zone. Yeah, industrial zone will be here now. Later I'll probably move it. And bam, 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 I don't want it to be too close to my city. Because green cities and all of that. So, right there. We'll be alright. Won't die from it, right? And now I'll just build a power station because, I mean, power station is the what is the thing that powers all of your city. I'll place it right there so people could actually move to, to there because one time that I actually made a city, all the power plants were out of coal because reasons. And that's all connected, so that's cool. And now I'll just wait. So people will start moving, moving in, and I should probably build a commercial zone real quick. Oh shoot, space already occupied, that's what I do. Just kill roads all the time. And make a thing there, a thing there, and just make a commercial zone, because commercial zones are cool, people like shopping in them. And I'll just make a, make a little bit of that over there. So, how is it a call actually? Because. Oh, it's getting stored, so that's alright. Because the last time I really failed my city was because of these things. They just stopped, stopped getting call, I don't know, for whatever reason. And I basically had no energy and I wasted a ton of money for getting some energy. Oh, shite. They need some more. Electricity right there and water too. And those things do they? Yeah, they will have water. And why don't they have water? Oh, I, I'm an idiot. I'm a real idiot right now. I should have known that the water pumps and the sewage things they actually need power to work. So, yeah, like that. It, it should work now. Yeah, everything's connected. Everyone has water now. Everything should be alright. People should come into my town. Mm, a little town. And I should actually build another one of these right here. Yeah, this is a good spot. And just make another living place for people. Residential zones as they call them. 
and people will start living in them and they'll hopefully get an achievement for more people living in my city and then they'll be able to do more stuff like take loans and stuff loans are pretty good in this game but don't take loans in real life because that will really screw you up big time and now I'll just make some more water for these people because they're thirsty as all hell and these boys need some workers they need some goddamn workers big bite but they won't because I mean seriously there's only 196 people in here there's already a good industrial zone there for this small of a town and a shopping area here I mean where would they get so much people to come and work for them right also there are not a lot of people here working right now actually not working but coming to live here because obviously I mean look at it there's still a demand for it but people ain't just coming here I don't know why really but Oh no, they are, they are, they just waited for the sunlight. I mean, they're not some kind of vampires that can see at night and like come to my town and just build their houses at night. So basically I'll just wait for these places to get some more people to work in them and for me to get some more money because I'm just in debt. I'm going in debt all the time, not getting out of it and I'm going to lose all my money soon. So I hope that I'll get people in my town, my little town, and I'll probably connect all of these up once I get them a bit longer, because I really want them to get a bit longer so I could actually get more people before I get in depth, because when I get in depth, that then it's basically a really long time before I can get out, that, that's, that's how every game starts for me, I just like go in, go in depth and just wait it out and then I get out of depth and do stuff. So that's how I do. Basically now I'm just building all of this stuff and waiting for workers to go in these shops so everything would start working. Pop soda. And even more pop soda. I think there are just too much pop soda shops in the city. Look at that. How much pop soda they are trying to sell to my citizens. They'll not be healthy. But right now I'm just gonna go in real big depth because I have no money. A poor. Oh boy, why is that happening? Why can't I? Oh, I have no money. She. That's bad. That's real bad. People are now gonna build. Oh, these places are getting abandoned. How great. Just awesome. Am I right? I mean, these places are getting abandoned too. How good. More people come in my city. When's the next achievement? Like, oh my god, 460 people. I'm not gonna get that. I mean, people could start like making children and then I would get more people. Like, see, now they're just making some children. But, so I can't, they, they're making kids and stuff, but I can't, I can't like operate with that. Also, these houses are gonna move out because they have no water and I have nothing to provide to them. And I'll just get rid of all of these empty factories because who needs them anyway, right? I mean, my city is gonna be a healthy city, a good healthy city, but there are no factories in healthy cities. Actually, there are a lot. Even if, if you don't see them, they're making them underground so nobody could see, ever suspect the thing. Also, as you can see, I'm in big depth, like in a real big one. And I'm not going to earn all of that money like real fast I can actually check out my statistics here my um, city value is like at, it's dropping it's really dropping my where is it where is it uh, students tourists where's my money city budget yeah no, that's not that, that's not the city budget. City treasury. Yep, this is the city treasury. I'm just dropping, dropping all the time. But I mean, why not? You have to drop sometimes so you can get up and be even stronger. So let's just wait for it. Wait it out. You know, I hope that I'll be able to wait it out, or if I'll be able, then I'll take a loan and get some stuff for myself. So that would be cool. But it doesn't seem like I'm getting out of the depth pretty fast, so... 
Also, why are the people not going to work? Come on. Come on. There are two jobs available, four jobs available, eight jobs available, six jobs available, seven jobs available, eight jobs available, six jobs available, twelve jobs available. People, calm the hell on. You ain't living here for nothing, you should go and work. Like, work hard. Also, these people are not smart, they're just like building into the place where there's no water and other people just got out of the city. So basically that's what, uh, what's going to screw them up. And now oh, actually the city is going to bankrupt I think. Mm, not really sure. I hope not. Let's see. Actually, look, there's like my uh, my thing that was going down all the time. Like in my, oh, n never mind, never mind. I was about to say that it's going back to pluses and positive results for me, but it seems that nope, not today. It's still at the minus six hundred and fifty-four, and it's around there all the time. So basically, I'm never going out of depth now. It seems probably I am, but. This is not happening now because I have literally still stuff to pay for and I have no money for it. So that's why I think it's still out there. If I, if I could take a loan, that would be cool. Because I mean, loans give you like 20k and then I would be able to make some water for those people and make them some good living in my city. Also, some houses are not here anymore. Once again, that's a really shitty industrial zone it seems. Yep, even more houses are getting abandoned. Whatever, they will come back eventually. Hopefully. And my depth is getting even bigger. That's a mess. That's a really huge mess, actually. I think I might actually be pretty screwed here. I mean, big minuses. I hope that uh, somebody offers me something right now, because... One time that I was like going in depth, somebody offered me a um, good offer actually. And oh shoot, people are gonna get problems in here, aren't they? Yeah, oh god, I have nothing to offer. Shit. And that means that. Oh, bailout. City and bring bankruptcy, you must cut services by shutting them down or raise taxes to gain more income. You can also take a loan if you are available bailout option. If the above measures are not enough, you can take a bailout to save your city. Note that the bailout disables further achievements. Uh, I'll reject that one and hope that my city goes back to alright because I can't really do anything about it now. I could like delete some shops because these have nothing to sell and cut the territories for now. Yeah, I could cut the. Oh, shoot. Well, this city got to bankruptcy real fast. I'll hope that in the next episode I'll actually get a city that ain't gonna go like that under the bubble and look at that, I'm losing that much money. Well, I guess I'll see you in the next episode where I'm probably going to be on a winter map and trying to achieve my goals even harder and get my city like really up and running. So I'll see you next time.